Hey guys, it's Holly here with Gaming Trend, and in this video I am highlighting the game Parkasaurus. This is a park management simulation game, and today I'm going to show you how to build a habitat for your dinosaur. I've already got the egg in my inventory, and this dinosaur requires a grass tile with a forest biome. He's a small dinosaur, so he doesn't require a lot of space, and since most of my park is already built up, I think I'm going to put him over here off to the right, which means I'm going to have to clear out some of this space, get rid of some of this fencing, and make a pathway so that my guests can get over to the new exhibit once it's built. My daily food delivery just arrived, and the cool thing about this game is that the vets will go and take the food and put it into the dinosaur's habitat automatically. So you don't have to worry about food management or if the dinosaurs are hungry. This guy right here is taking out meat out of the vegetarian. Oh, he's carrying the meat. Okay, so he just fed. These are my herbivores, and now he's taking the meat to the carnivore. Um, my T-Rexes and my Velociraptors are so cute. Look at him. There he goes. He's bringing the meat over to the Velociraptor so that they can eat. But it's pretty cool that you don't have to manage food. You just set up your daily delivery in the town menu, which is right here. You can choose if you want vegetables or if you want meat, and you can add them to your daily delivery. And at the start of each day, it is delivered with the truck at the front of the park. So back to creating the new habitat for my new dinosaur. I have to figure out this mess over here, and I'm probably going to build it in this area. So let's get to it. First, I'm probably going to destroy half of this guy's fence. These guys have a pretty big habitat to begin with. It's They're going to be very big dinosaurs once they grow up. They're Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus? however it's pronounced. And I had to move these guys from a very small enclosure because it wasn't big enough for them when they started growing. So let's figure out how to get rid of this fence and get them some space. Actually, should tranquilize these guys and put them away so they don't escape, which I've also had happen. So let me tranquilize them and get them out of their habitat just to be safe. Tranquilizing them is pretty easy. You just click this little button right here and your vets will come. Actually, it's your security. They will come and tranquilize your dinosaurs, which is kind of heartbreaking, but it's for everyone's well-being. Kind of hilarious to watch them shoot it. Okay, once that little box pops up above their head, they are tranquilized and ready to be removed from the habitat. Just put him over there, and that guy is ready, and now we're good to go. Probably not going to make this enclosure as big as this whole entire space because these are small dinosaurs and I don't think they need that much room, so... Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And that way I don't have to move that little um, sleeping area with the tree for the brachiosaur. And, uh, okay, I thought he was going to escape. Let's fix this. Oh my goodness, what in the world is going on? They're escaping, they're doing something, they're pissed. What?
Okay. I have no idea what was going on there. I think they destroyed my um, donation box and my bench that I had, but just because one corner of the biome was missing, or the fencing for the biome was missing, but it's all good. We will get it fixed. Crashed my lamps and everything. Good grief. Okay, I will worry about that later. Let's get this going over here so we can get our dinosaurs back in their habitat. I'm going to extend this path down. I'm going to move his little toy there. just recently got the electric fence which provides um, average privacy for the dinosaurs and it's high strength so hopefully they won't escape so I'm gonna go ahead and build this one back up so I can put those guys back in there okay then you see that the exhibit is ready so I want to get those guys that we tranquilized back in there, and then we'll figure out the rest of it over here. So when you're ready to pick up your dinosaurs, you just click on the little box. I am not sure. I guess I didn't put one of my other dinosaurs back. That's interesting. All right, so these are my Brachiosauruses. We're going to pick them up, put them in here, and they come out of their cage, and they're happy again. Now I will fence off this area with some electric fencing, get everything looking good. This area is going to need to be cleared out. I might be doing this the hard way, but this is the only way that I have figured out to get rid of all of the junk and random trees that are on the lot when you start the game. It's kind of tedious to click all of this, but you've got to do it because these trees will not grow in the biome that we are creating. So I'm just going to delete them because I don't feel like moving them all over the map. If you have played this game and you know a quicker way to do this, please feel free to share in the comments because you will make my life much easier. Oh, here we go. We've got our end of day report. This happens at the end of every operating day for your park. Gives you a little review, tells you if your guests were happy. You can figure out what they don't like, which is a lot, usually the food. They usually complain about the food. You see how many hearts you've gained, how much science you've gained, your money. I've got nine super happy dinos and 17 just they're okay happy dinos. Let's get back into clearing this area out. space. I'm not going to go any further than that. Let's get our daily food delivery so our dinosaurs can eat and stay happy. I think that missing dinosaur is one of these guys here. Yep, I forgot to put him back in the habitat when I moved him to the bigger location, so hopefully... He's not too mad at me for that. I'm gonna go ahead and fence off the rest.
rest of this habitat. I'm not going to make it too big. Hopefully they don't need that much room and they will be happy with this. All right, now that we've got the fencing around it, they wanted a grass forest. So let's go ahead to our terrain builder and pick out the grass tile. We're gonna lay that down across the whole floor of this new habitat. And that's actually pretty easy. Um, the forest doesn't need to be modified. Um, you can see here, um, based on ruggedness and wetness, it will turn in either to a rainforest or a taiga. The only thing that we need to do here is add in our plants, trees, and rocks. I'm sorry, shrubs, trees, and rocks and give it some water and then we can pop our dinosaur in there. That's a pretty easy one to build. Some of them are a little more complicated where you have to alter the terrain by building up uh, mountains or um, hills and different things like that. So that one was pretty easy to build and I have room to extend it if it needs a bigger one eventually. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's start off with some, actually let's get some water in there. The trees and shrubs have to be pretty close to the water or else they will not live. We'll put some water off to the side here. And then we'll go back to scenery. Click on rocks and then each color tells you which rock, tree, or shrub goes on which tile. So we need forest ones. The green ones are good for forest. So we can do granite, basalt, Let's get some granite going on in there. And as you can see over here on the right, it's going up as I put rocks in. Let's get some of this for diversity. All right, we've got enough rocks to make the biome healthy. Now let's add some shrubs. We can add, oh, that's kind of neat, that's new. See, that one's too far away from the water, so we can move him. They actually can't go very far away from the water before they start complaining, so it makes things interesting on a bigger map where you're trying to get things laid out and make it look aesthetically pleasing, but you've got to build more water to get more plants and trees across the whole tile. enough shrubs or bushes and now let's get some trees monkey puzzle tree that's new and these are too far easy to fix Kind of a neat looking tree. This tile is going to require a lot of trees, so I am going to put some small ones in. That is very, very small. Let's go a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but let's stick to the task and I'll figure it out later. A few more trees and we should be good. can put an apple tree in there, that's kind of cool. Alright, 
this is good to go as far as the biome requirements, the water, the trees, shrubs, rocks. So let's put a door on here so that the veterinarians can get in here and feed our animals. We need to get them a feeder and these are, I want to say herbivores. Let's go with herbivore. So we'll put down a cylinder feeder. Let's give them a cylinder feeder because they eat vegetables. We'll put that up front. These are small dinosaurs. Let's get something cute to put in there to give them some privacy. gives a lot of decent benefits. So I'll put that back here. Hopefully they can get to it. I should probably add a few grass tiles for privacy as well, but let's get them a toy. This is a ball and it's kind of buggy right now, but I have faith that the devs will get it fixed because they've done an excellent job with this game so far. The other thing that I would like to add is a donation box so that our happy park goers can pay us so we can make money and keep the park running. I think that's everything that we need to get these guys off to a good start. Put some lights in here. People can see. Oh, I guess the janitor cleaned up the donation box and the mess that was over there. That's cool. Okay, I think that we are ready. Well, I guess we're ending our day. But I think we're ready to put our egg into the habitat. All right, let's drop the egg in there and see how long it takes to hatch. Usually hatches at the beginning of the next day, so we'll have a little bit of time to do other stuff. I can highlight some of the other features of the game. Let me just give them some privacy tiles. They don't like to be seen by the guests, and then the guests get mad when they can't see the dinosaurs. So it's kind of a balancing act, trying to figure out how to make everybody happy. daily delivery. So basically the game user interface is very very easy to learn and navigate. Um, the developers, it's just two guys, they have done a amazing job on this game. I am blown away by it. Super impressed never even knew it existed and it's like sucked away my whole entire weekend it's a fantastic game um, in the town you can shop for your vegetables your meat here's where you create new eggs which is what we just put into that habitat that we built so over here you can choose which type of dinosaur family you want to go with um, triceratops all of that good stuff um, you combine all of the um, items that you find, which I can show you here in a minute, but these footprints are found from either having your scientists dig through your park or from going back in time through the portal and going on digs where you can find the skulls and the footprints. And then you combine them with gems, which you find in the store here. You buy a gem and let's just buy one of these. We'll make a little egg real quick just to show you how it works. Um, we'll make a triceratops. So I've got the footprints, the skulls, and the gem. You just push create. Chicken poops out an egg. You gather it. It goes in your inventory. And you then can put that into your Triceratops habitat and he will hatch in about a day. The office tab shows you your park info and here's where you hire your new employees. You can look at their resumes. It shows you what each um, employee does for your park. You can go through and look at this and say you want to hire him or not. Janitor, scientist, security. The dino book, not quite sure. I guess it shows you how many of each that you've collected and the rewards you get for each one. 
Um, this says it's coming soon. So there's a lot of features that they haven't implemented yet. Um, and I can't wait to see like when this game is finished because it's just so much fun right now and it's only an alpha. So in the portal, you can choose which time period you want to go back to. Let's just stick with what we've got here because I'm trying to get a couple of these guys for my new habitat that we just built. So you choose your time period, you click open portal, your expedition takes a little while to get from point A to point B. So you go off, you do other things while you're waiting for that portal to open. And then I'll show you what the dig looks like when it's ready. So we'll go to our science tab and this is through the scientists that you hire in your park. They earn science points which you can then buy all of these little perks and this is how you unlock your gems and items for your park like the burger joint, monuments, signs. Um, I don't think that you unlock any of the dinosaurs through here. I think that's through the hearts. But anyway, I put about 10 hours into the game before I unlocked all of the science. So I have everything that the, gr the game currently has to offer and I'm very excited to see what else they add to it. Um, I'm sure that they'll slow down the amount of science that you gain as the game evolves, but I was okay with it because I like messing around with new stuff. Um, lots of cute little decoration things that you can get. So it was good. And in the hearts tab, you get hearts every time you level up after the day is over. Um, this is where you unlock your new dinosaurs. So um, this is where you also get like improved feeders for your habitats, um, fences, the dinosaurs, security. So far they only have one toy in the game and that's the toy ball and that's the one that's kind of bugged but I'm sure they'll add more toys. But this is where you get all of your stuff for your dinosaurs and your actual dinosaurs. It's really cool. I've opened up all of these as well. Well, oh, I didn't grab these two. So let's grab those. That's how it works. So now I have everything from the hearts tab as well. This right here, two of these right here. If you see these little shovels, that means your scientists have dug up a fossil in your park. You can click on those to claim them. And I got a bunch of them apparently sitting around, which is good. These are the same things that you get from the dig, so it's always cool when you're, whoa. It's always cool when your scientists pick them up in your park and you don't have to get them from the dig itself. With each of your buildings, you can set which type of, like for the funnel cakes, funnel cake, you can have jelly, sugar, and some of them have different perks. Um, some of them will increase the guests' desire for other foods, so there's a lot of micromanaging that goes on, but it's not too much. It's just the right balance of micromanaging. I think it's not overwhelming, but it's enough to keep you interested in the game. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like the perfect balance of managing, but not too much micromanaging. Okay, our expedition is ready to go, so let's do that. They've arrived at their point. We'll open up the dig. You pick which scientist you want, and you just uncover the box on the screen to get footprints, skulls, money. I haven't uncovered anything other than that. Supposedly there's other things you can get in here. I don't know what it is because I've never seen it. But like right here you can see this will unlock a skull, another skull. Some of these nodes you can mine on more than once. So some of them are a little bit deeper down in the earth. Like if we go there you can see that there's a footprint to uncover. Uh, it's just a pretty neat little side game that you can play to get the pieces that you need to build your new dinosaurs with. On the top right you can see that there's still three items that I have not uncovered and I'm retarded and did not 
plan that out very well. But anyway, that's how the game works for collecting your fossils to make your new eggs. So we're going to return home. Let's check on that egg. It's almost the end of day, so by the time tomorrow... Oh, our egg is ready now, but let's go ahead and end the day now. And then we'll hatch the egg in the morning. All right, let's check out our new little buddy. These dinosaurs are so adorable. The game, the graphics in this game are just so cute. It might not be for everyone, but they're very simple yet effective. You can put hats on your dinosaur, which is like, I don't even know, it's just the cutest thing ever. I've got a lot of different hats to choose from. I'll show you some of them, but look at this little guy. He's so cute. And he will grow. Let's make sure he's happy here. He's going to eat. He's going to want a mate, so we're going to need to make him a mate. But everything looks good. He's in his forest. Seems like privacy is okay for now. I'll have to check in and see how that goes along the next couple of days, over the next couple of days. And I'll get to work making him a little partner or a mate. Uh, so far, I don't, I haven't played the custom game yet, but it says here that um, breeding is coming soon, so I haven't been able to play with that yet, but I absolutely cannot wait, and it looks like there's a more in-depth way to create eggs. I should have actually highlighted that when I put that egg down, but apparently you can change their traits, their color, and their personality um, when you click on the egg, when you set it down, by adding in plants or meat or there's a bunch of different combinations that you can do. Someone's written a guide about it on Steam. This is one of the hats, the cone of shame I've got on this little guy here. The hats are so adorable. I've got hats on my T-Rex. I've got a unicorn hat and the cool glasses, which it's just so cute. It's just a really fun addition to the game. The devs have done a, a fantastic job with this game so far. Velociraptors are happy. Everyone's looking good. I've got a fedora on one of these guys over here. Look at this fedora on this guy. How cute is that, right? It's just such a fun, such a cute game. I can't wait to see what comes in the future patches. And I will probably start my own custom game where you can build drone terrains and all of that. But this was just the tutorial. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. This this has been so much fun. Anyway, if there's anything else you'd like to see highlighted about this game or just see more in-depth gameplay, feel free to leave comments below. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with everything that Gaming Trend is coming out with. And thank you very much for watching.